Hello, here is Vivi Walker. Welcome again to my channel. Today is a video especially for a man who asked about some conversion. So we will be using a computer today. Uh, basically, the question was how to convert um, any file, uh, MP3 or WAV or any other from internet uh, to use it on uh, the Yamaha PSR-S670 or any other Yamaha keyboard because this actually uh, this knowledge is referring to any any Yamaha keyboard so we get now the USB connected into Yamaha and I will take it out it's a uh, Chinese whatever USB stick so let's go to computer connect this file uh, connect the stick to computer and using the audacity program it's a uh, free software which you can download from internet it's available for Linux and Windows uh, this version is 221 I think it's uh, it's uh, the latest version maybe there is some new uh, doesn't matter because this uh, this feature how to convert files uh, that could be played uh, on the Yamaha keyboard is actually uh, available in all versions. So, if you have any um, MP3 file converted from internet, whatever, and you want to play it as a media pad or just to, uh, you know, playback, <clears throat> you need first to import this file uh, using the menu file import and audio and you will select uh, the file and I have prepared uh, especially for you for the demonstration purposes because actually this Yamaha only accept the stereo files and this one is a uh, mp3 uh, in uh, in mono so actually as you can see there is only one track here in stereo it should be left and right track separated and then you need to export in this format so in this video I will show you first how to make sure that your format is uh, 44100 kilo, uh, kilohertz I mean uh, it's it's only this sample rate could be uh, read could be understandable by this Yamaha uh, processor uh, so you need to make sure that your uh, your sample your audio has uh, 44 as you can see now So the sample rate is okay. If the sample rate is is wrong you could convert it by using format and There should be also a 60-bit PCM, but you don't need to change it now You can change it later in export uh, The first step that we need to do is to convert mono track because this is mono track. I have made some samples from uh, sorry I will change the output um, so not this time tracks mm -hmm. so this is mono and we want to convert so to convert to stereo track just take into tracks in menu add new and select stereo track and as you can see now, this is of course the multi-track, it's a DAV, so, so it could play multi, uh, unlimited number of tracks uh, separately. So to convert this mono into this new empty stereo, you just double click to select all this track. Now using menu or control C to copy into clipboard, copy, then highlight by pressing and the second stereo track go to beginning using the home button or just arrows on the computer and edit paste and so this first mono track is no longer needed and now we have converted the mono into stereo and the song is playing okay uh, let's take a look. So we got stereo 144 1 kilohertz 32 bit. It could be it should be changed into 60 because the, uh, as the manual of the Yamaha said, there is only stereo wave files 
uh, 60 bit uh, of the sample bit depth. So to export this into wave because now it's mp3 to export into wave you just take from menu export export as wave and select where you want to save i will save it on directly on this usb stick now uh, and the most important and crucial thing now it's here on the save as you should select and get wave microsoft signed 60-bit pcm and this uh, and of course the stereo must be uh, selected so save save again and it's safe so it's safe on the USB remove the device let's go to Yamaha and check if it's working now so no cutting video I'll be try to hit it in this back panel All right, so device is connected and how to play such a song from this USB stick. Of course, press USB, then select audio, then go to the files. Here are some selected files by me, so recorded, whatever. And my, har, my car has broken. This is select by pressing enter and here you get play. so it's enough this is new project for me I am creating it now so uh, this is basically how to convert the file uh, any audio file it could be imported into audacity software then converted mono to stereo of course if you need to convert from mono to stereo and then uh, you export this as wave microsoft sign 60 bit with the sample rate 44.1 kilohertz and this this is all actually and this file could be played in yamaha of course you can check my video how to configure the multipath control so how to you know download so interesting fancy sound samples drums whatever you want and how to attach to assign them into banks of this registration multipath control of course you can use it to uh, you know play as a backing track so plus and you can still of course So you can also practice, you know, backing track, jamming, whatever you want, uh, doing with those files. So um, this video was especially for, uh, especially for, uh, sorry, Fitra Ali Yusuf Adi, well, that's a very difficult name. He asked about this wave files in MP3. So. Uh, this video was dedicated to this guy who asked in the comments how to do such thing and I hope it helps you all to do some crazy things with your computer. So if you have any more questions how to convert some formats, how to, I don't know, maybe you want to know how to extract the, the, the audio track from the video files because sometimes you, you have only... I don't know, video and you want to get some audio from this one or do some other conversion on Audio City. Maybe you want to know how to mix the tracks, how to prepare, how to normalize the volumes, how to cut the so do basic editing, mixing uh, and some conversion, whatever. There's a very powerful, uh, you know, I, I know that there is a lot of uh, more expensive software uh, but for most of the home and semi-professional purposes, I think the Audacity uh, is uh, 
good enough to do some conversions, editing and so on. Most of my production I am using this Audacity. I don't need to buy any other commercial software. So thanks again for watching. It was BB Walker and see you later.